Oh my god, guys. The Nintendo Direct is over. I'm freaking dead. Okay? They gave... Okay. They... <laughs> I don't know where to start. Ah! Ah, Nintendo slayed me. They gave us freaking two Smash Fighters. They showed us. Uh, a bunch of games. These guys got their Animal Crossing wishes. Yeah. Just gave us Zelda. There's three Zeldas coming. We got Cadence of Hyrule, Link's Awakening, and Breath of the Wild sequel. I'm gonna die, Nintendo. Okay, so, uh, so you're gonna I'm, your house that you don't have yet? Uh, yeah. I I don't. I have no idea what to say further. I. I'm dead. Nintendo slayed me today. Nintendo murdered me. Hey, we're off to our day one again. We're going to E3 today. E3! It's finally time. We're finally going. Um, we watched the Nintendo Direct this morning. If you haven't seen our little podcast slash analysis discussion thingy, you should go check that out on YouTube on Jesse's channel. And uh, Nintendo killed us all today. Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's a good feeling to be dead. Um, so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the real E3 this time. Ooh, it's gonna be a good time. Ooh. Gibbs, thoughts, feelings, concerns, questions. Uh, give me Zelda. Now. I agree. <laughs> Chublima, your thoughts, feelings, concerns, questions, answers. Uh, it's hot outside, and give me Animal Crossing to cure my depression. Ouch, Jesse. <laughs> what do you have to say, Jesse? Um, it was okay. It was okay. Wow. It was I. I feel betrayed. We just awesome. ran into the coolest guy in the whole freaking world. What's your name? I don't have a name. Say hi to Michael. Uh, hi, Michael. <laughs> As you can see, he's got a very long name. They had to use <laughs> extra small print. So, what was you here seeing? Uh, everything. Cool. <laughs> How did it run? Uh, I don't know. We'll be back tomorrow. Look where we are. Give me that Nintendo. Nintendo. I'm gonna die. I'm so dizzy from spinning and from just. Oh no! No! <laughs> I'm gonna die. It's so beautiful. Mm. That's all. I know. We're back at the Airbnb after day one of E3. Uh, yeah, that's about how much energy we have left, guys. I'm telling you, it just it's great, but it's exhausting. Um, we went to the Nintendo booth. That was all we had time for. The lineup was like 500 hours to get in, but we had a lot of fun. The Link's Awakening demo is amazing. You get to play for 15 minutes, which is a very long demo. So let's be honest. And uh, we got a little tiny Link keychain. He's adorable. Um, we're just gonna die for the rest of the night. So, Jesse, what do you have to say about this? It was alright. Yeah, alright. <laughs> lots of lots of Jesse fans stopping us and being like, "Your game over, Jesse." Lots of Jesse fans stopping other people and being like, "Oh my God, your game over, Jesse." <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all. I want pizza. Good night, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're going to head out for E3 Day 2 pretty soon. Uh, we're just hanging out at the Airbnb, kind of getting ready, watching people's live, like, reactions. Not live. Recorded reaction videos and everything. Some of them are hilarious. But of all the things that got announced at E3 for Nintendo's Direct, 
This is the frickin' thing that Bill Trennan tweets about. Dragon Quest, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you had <laughs> you had Zelda and Banjo? Bill, and you're tweeting about Dragon Quest? <laughs> we don't have time for this. <laughs> what are you doing, Bill? Bill Trennan, get your act together. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you, man. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more E3 weirdness. <laughs> We're just having a weird time. Oh my goodness. I need coffee. <laughs>Guess what? We're gonna play a video game. Shoops, what video game are we gonna play? Borderlands! I don't believe you. There's nothing to even indicate that game is here at E3. <laughs>
Oh, he's leaving! This is the you. end. I'm gonna miss you, boy. See you, Daniel. Bring it in, brother. I love you. Goodbye, Jesse. Our beautiful bird has is uh, flying away. So, guys, on a scale of one to ten, how much are you cry? Oh, good. Um, I'm sad. I'm very sad. Damn. Like we're in the 20 year long lineup for Luigi's Mansion. And I'm gonna tell you, this is the most wild lineup because you're just standing out here and it's like basically wraps up behind the Nintendo booth. And basically, we're between the Nintendo booth and the washrooms. So we get to see lots of cool people like Bill Trinan and Doug Bowser and Mr. Takashi Tezuka, and Nate Bildorf and Kit Alice and all these people on their way to the washrooms and we can't say hi to them because they're like clearly hustling to the can so that's awkward but um, we just kind of witnessed their presence in the room and no photo ops here supposedly actually we've seen him Charles Martinet comes out here and hands out autographs but we haven't seen him I have the worst luck with seeing famous people so Are rip you my the only one that hasn't taken a picture with Bill Trinan yet yeah Actually, Jesse also didn't, so I'm rip, but he's gone. Out of the three of us. Well, have anything to add? Part time. Yep. Part time. What about you, Kayla? That's all, folks. This is the end of a uh, E3 for us. Goodbye, E3. <laughs> this has been super swell. Amazing opportunity, met so many cool people. I guess there were video games too, but really the biggest thing was how many cool people we met. So, yep. Anything to add? Bye, I'm gonna miss you guys. We'll miss everybody. Bye. We are at LAX, and we're two and a half hours early for our flight. Nice, this is a good angle. It's a flattering. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? Uh, I need to find something to drink and then probably play a video game. Cool. Also, someone laughed at my game over Jesse's shirt. And they're like, I have a friend named Jesse and he plays video games. Security hated my bag. <laughs> hated it. They dug through it. It was my microphone. That's what they hated. I thought the Famicom I bought would be a problem. Oh yeah. Did I mention I bought a Famicom? I'm super <laughs> happy about it. I thought that would be an issue, but nope. It's my microphone. Actually, the guy knew what the Famicom was. He was psyched about it. So, that's a thing. He was kind of jelly. He asked me where I bought it. So, anyways. Um, that's it. We'll see you later in Vancouver. delayed but but we're here we're on board the flight so uh, it's gonna be a late night for us when we get home we're all gonna die no we're gonna be fine <laughs> thanks daniel <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna be tired is what i meant there's also a guy from game explain on the same plane as us right now there is uh tom from game explain is on our flight i don't know if he lives in vancouver if it's a layover or whatever's happening but yeah I hope Jesse and Gibbs made it home safely. I bet you Gibbs is just boarding now, I'm betting. Yes. And I think Jesse already had his layover at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. We're probably gonna play Splatoon and then die. I mean, fly. That one. While we fly. In Flight Entertainment, Volume 2. <laughs> The airport is. It's currently 11:17 p.m. and I want to go to bed. I'm so ready to sleep. 
but it's good. Everyone made it alive safely. Yeah. So now we're gonna go through customs, I guess, and then get on the road home in a vehicle car. <laughs> Yay! It's so empty in here. I've never seen the airport this empty before. What a wild time. Hey, everybody. I am home now in my house with all my stuff. Uh, it's been a, a wild trip, honestly. It's been incredible, but I'm super happy to be back home uh, in Vancouver, in Canada. Uh, we dropped Chublima off on the way home, and uh, now it's like 12.30. I am pretty much ready to sleep. So this is the final vlog. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and joining me on this little adventure. Um, just thought it would be a little fun side project during the trip. Can't wait to edit the whole thing together. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, thank you, everyone. And I hope you have a great night. Happy E3. Okay, so this is for you, Daniel. Hey guys, John here, and Daniel, well, how are you? 